hi everyone today i am going to explain one of the primary practice in agile test driven development that is writing unit tests okay so let's start with so most of the time many people have asked what is this unit testing actually what this unit testing does okay and there are always some confusions when doing a unit testing okay so some people somehow misunderstand a unit testing or implement unit tests in such a way it becomes a end to end test where they try to test some of other dependent classes realistically but unit testing always depends on the class which are which you are basically unit testing so let's start with this unit testing tutorial today guys so for a demonstration purpose i have created a small console application okay uh, with the name com.unittesting.practices okay and what this small simple program does is basically for a set of employees or a collection of employees it will calculate the bonus okay and in order to calculate the bonus i have written a bonus calculation service okay so if you go to this service see this is the bonus calculation service uh, what it does basically okay it will receive the employee object and based on the type of employee which is a enum okay i have uh, defined enum for the various employee types based on the employee type it will calculate the bonus amount based on their salary a very trivial example that i'm going to make use of for the demonstration of this unit testing so uh, this is the main driver class or you can say the main method or the main uh, project which actually executes and then i have the contracts basically uh, in order to specify my bonus calculation service so you can see the com.unittesting.practices.services.contracts it's always best practice to encapsulate or abstract out all your services into interfaces or you can call contracts okay and what is the use of this kind of contract based programming this will help you in unit testing of your application okay so whatever whatever kind of services you write always make it a good practice of making use of contracts or interfaces for such services well that's it so that's my service and that's my employee entity i can say okay so it has a type name salary bonus and a enum which tells what kind of or what type of employees okay now once i specified my contract for my bonus calculation service i have to provide a concrete implementation for that contract so that will come under com.unittesting.practices.services see the naming convention guys uh, this particular uh, c sharp library will only contain contracts whereas this com.unittesting.practices.service will contain the implementation okay for the contract you have mentioned in this project so advantage of segregating uh, the concrete implementation from its abstraction is that if tomorrow you want to provide your library your contracts library for some other vendor and they want to provide their own implementation you can very easily provide the dll or the nugget package of this particular project itself because your concrete implementation is basically separated or segregated into different projects so when you give the dll of this kind of projects you will give only the contracts and yes they can do the implementation on this specified contracts by implementing these interfaces that is just for your information and it's a good programming practice also well now move on to the tests okay so i have a project a x i'm making use of x unit for the demonstration of unit testing so if i go to this particular project it's a typical x unit tests project okay and if you see my tests class so i have written a bonus calculation service tests so uh, what i am doing here basically see this is the class this unit test is basically going to test this unit that is the bonus calculation service class here unit is our class basically so what i have done is i have 
kept a member of type I bonus calculation service by name bonus calculation service underscore SUT. Here SUT means a subject under test. And what is the subject under test here, guys? I bonus calculation service. Okay. So a pretty straightforward service. It is not making use of any other external services uh, which may make some database uh, transactions to get data or any network operations. No, it is not doing anything. That's why I'm not required to mock anything. So straight away I'm instantiating with the bonus calculation service concrete class. Okay. Now if you see uh, in X unit we use fact basically this attribute or directive I can say to specify the test cases now what are the best practices of writing unit tests a unit test test case should contain three blocks or you can see the con uh, pattern of three A's arrange act and assert in the arrange phase I what I will do for my particular test case which says calculate bonus when employee type is developer then return the developer bonus can you see this three words here first one specifies the method you are going to unit test second what is the condition or what is the criteria with which you are testing this method that criteria is when your employee type being developer and what should be the result return the bonus for that particular developer employee type okay so very simple thing I have instantiated an employee class with employee type developer and I have given name as Tommy and salary as 1500 for testing purposes now act phase where you will actually call the method that you want to test so what I am doing here in bonus calculation service and score USUT on this object I am calling the calculate bonus method with my data or the data I have arranged over here now I will assert whether if you see the assert dot equal methods definition two parameters expected and actual so what is my expectation for 1500 for the employee type developer I should get the bonus needs to be calculated 300 rupees okay now the result should match with this basically so what I will do is simply I will run the test and I will verify whether this is working as per our expectation or not so let's simply test this so there are two options you can run the test you can debug the test so let's put a breakpoint and we will uh, debug the test okay the test runner has started the breakpoint has hit so arrange phase yeah the data arranged the act phase let's go inside the method employee type developer and what is the bonus amount okay it is some percentage of that employee of type developer salary okay so 0 0.2 that is 20% uh, okay so bonus has been calculated you can check here itself for example 300 I think our tests are going in a right way now as the result has received in this act phase now I will assert using the X unit methods assert dot equal 300 comma result which is true and if I continue you should see that the first test has passed sorry for the employee type developer yeah I had ran the test and uh, yeah the expectation has matched and you can see this check mark in green that means our implemented service is working as per our expectation now let's do some change okay now some developer is working now go with the realistic scenario where in enterprise we will be working on enterprise softwares now some developer is working on the same service and he has introduced a regression he changed the percentage basically if I go to the implementation due to some reason he made it 30% and he forgot to implement the unit tests okay now there is no issue when he does the code changes but when the unit when he runs the unit test there he will see the errors or 
there he will see the unit tests failing basically so i will simply run in this scenario because i want to see the failure case can you see expected was 300 but actually is 450 that's enough for the developer to understand whatever changes he has made has broke the existing implementation it is not in line it is not in line with the existing unit tests expectations so what he has to do in order to correct the implementation he has to go to the tests and he has to update the expectation here properly or if that is not the case then he has to check with his business counterpart like BAs or FAs and check whatever percentage he is introducing here is it right or not okay so let's undo the change keep it 0.2 itself so this is how unit tests will basically help you to understand the regressions which was which are being caused in day by day development guys okay so that's it uh, uh, from the unit testing side i hope you people understood the core idea of writing unit tests basically so a unit test will basically ensure that whatever new changes you are going to introduce are not causing any regression a unit test will help you to ensure quality before delivering your code to the production using unit test basically you are ensuring that whatever implementation you have done are all adhering to your requirements so let me explain further here so in this case i covered the developer scenario but if you see i have covered unit test cases for each and every employee type that's for qa that's for tech lead and for manager and for delivery manager so what is the what is the advantage of writing what is the advantage of covering each and every scenario guys over here first of all it is it introduces the concept of code coverage so basically for the service or uh, software service you have written you are ensuring that each and every line of your service is unit tested so basically there is nothing in this particular service which you have not tested so basically it says that whatever code you are writing each and every line belongs to your business requirement there is nothing apart from that understand this concept guys whatever code you introduce introduce all are belonging to your business requirement that is the advantage of writing unit tests and i have seen some practices where people simply write the unit test for one or two scenarios and they will simply put assert dot equal yes it is it turned green and that's it they're done with unit testing no that's a bad practice unit testing means you have to cover each and every code each and every branch each and every method of the service you have introduced so there are many such unit testing tools are available but i would like to show how uh, x unit code coverage tool we can leverage over here so let me quickly uh, show you that uh, i have created a batch file which will take the responsibility of rendering all the code coverage details so let me run that quickly well now i have navigated to the batch file which actually run my unit tests uh, which is located into my service tests project itself okay but it's up to you guys you can make use of any tool which is preferable for you but the core idea of this is ensure a proper coverage of your unit tests in most of the enterprise level uh, we ensure a code coverage of maximum that is 97 98 percent if possible try to maintain 100 percent but that is not a realistic scenario but most of the cases is the best practice to ensure maximum code coverage above 95 percent so if i run my batch file so can you see line coverage 100% okay branch coverage 100% so if I go to my this is the X unit provided report guys basically so if I expand the class also even I can see further details there how much how many lines of my code has been code covered so let me click on this can you see 
this is my bonus calculation service and if you see I have a method called calculate bonus and just have a look guys each and every executable line of my method is code covered so basically I have ensured quality of my service by testing each and every possible scenario in my unit test okay this is the best practice and we must follow this in order to ensure a high high quality high grade enterprise softwares okay so there are many advantages as I have already explained by implementing unit tests first of all uh, you know whatever changes you are going to introduce and the moment you introduce such changes before committing your code itself you will come to know what regression you are introducing and also you are ensuring the quality of your code you have implemented with respect to the business requirements okay each and every line represents your business requirements and adhering to that you have implemented the changes well that's it okay so what else we can have a look here Hmm. It is showing at the entity level also. That's very good. This is the X unit level C each and every property Basically in my employee class I have ensured that each and every property of the employee has been unit tested There is no useless property here Which is not or any property which I have not unit tested everything is covered here So that's why coverage tool is saying that boss you are hundred percent adhering to your business requirements basically so that's it from this session so this is how we should ideally implement the unit tests and uh, ensure the code quality before making before uh, making it to your production base okay guys so thank you and have a nice day